Who we what's going on YouTube? Whoa, it's Donnie B all day with possibly the greatest folding knife ever made front toward enemy. Um, this is the ADV Tactical Crusher and I freaking love it. I had this one custom made for me and it is super duper dope and I love it. But we're not talking about um, we're not talking about this knife no matter how much I love it. Something about the blade going past the handle. This thing's huge, man. It's just super, super badass. Um, no, we're talking about the next three. And I showed you a bunch so far that I had. I sold off. I sold off, I think, three of them so far. I sold off a Pit Boss, a Badlands buoy, and a Tracker. Um, so I picked up an Invader. Uh, what am I going to do to replace the ones that I lost? Well, I'll get a new Badlands, a new... Um, pit boss and while I don't have a tracker coming in yet I have a Ronin coming in oh and I'm really excited about this um, about that I should say this one however this is my um, invader with the acid rain finish um, in frag pattern so it's frag and acid rain uh, I have to say you can see this blade is pretty well used right now I've been using this pretty much every day. The only day I didn't really use it at all, and even on days where I, like the other day, I carried a Spyderco, um, but I still ended up using this at some point during the day. The only day I didn't use that was today, and the reason is because I was using this. I know you're saying, oh, what, a, what a difference. But this is a Sodbuster by case sent by the Pierces, and I gotta tell you, Today, what I used this for, I was carving something that was stuck on a brick wall and I was slicing it off, which means I was grinding this edge along brick. Then I had to cut some plastic off of something. Then I was putting up some rope lights in the RV and um, I was I had a wide thing of Gorilla double-sided ta tape, that thick plastic tape. And I was using this to cut maybe 30 different cuts. First, I sliced a long way, then across, and I did that a whole lot. But this edge, first of all, it's full of, like, glue and stuff like that. But it's, you can see the glue. But it's still popping hair. It's, oh, I'm going to lose them. But it's still popping hair. So when I get all the glue off of there... And run it over a steel rod. This thing is going to be crazy sharp just like it was brand new. Um, I used the hell out of that knife today. But then I dropped it. So, But we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about ADV Tactical and the three blades that I have coming. I'm going to show you some pictures. Um, the Badlands buoy. It, 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 he does this honeycomb pattern. That's one of my favorites that he does. It's, it's so beautiful. But he's not just sending one with a honeycomb pattern on it. It's going to have acid rain, acid rain with this beautiful center with honeycomb. And it's going to be ridiculous. I'm actually going to show you pictures. As a matter of fact, let's start this off right. Um, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you first the Badlands buoy. This thing is just incredible. Hold on. <laughs> That knife is pretty. I know the pictures suck. It's what I had to work with, and I had to keep it in a certain way just so it would fit on here. Because if I went this way, I could make the picture bigger and brighter and in your face, but then it would cut it off because format. Um, so that knife is, if y'all remember the Badlands buoy, it's just ridiculous. That one's going to be ridiculous, sir. So after that, I have two more. I, I've got the um what i say is the most perfect folding knife ever made as far as um as far as shape as far as grip as far as um how it's used usability um the the pit boss 2 i said was probably the most perfect um folding knife ever made and i stand by that but since dis since the 2 is being discontinued or is discontinued there's now the 3 and it, while it has the same grip, um, and the sa it's the same exact size. There's just a few different elements about the knife from the two to the three that make it a three and no longer a two. I sound like Kamala Harris. Um, so 
what what it does is it might make it better who knows i don't know yet but what i can tell you is the mine is going to be better so not only is it going to be a pit boss a full-size pit boss not a mini but it is so so custom i mean it's awesome it's going to have some of the acid rain pattern right it's going to have it up top and down below just like the badlands buoy just like the Bad Band, Badlands buoy, however, the middle is going to be completely different. And not only is the middle going to be different, but inside the knife, um, in, inside the knife where the frame is in here, like if I looked in here, I don't know if I could see anything. I don't know if he did anything in there. It's kind of dark right now. I can't tell. There might be, there might be acid rain in there. I don't know. Um, but on the on that um pit boss i do know as a matter of fact i'm gonna show you pictures of that first the scales the scales are instead of full titanium the scales are uh, um i think it's a g10 but it's carved out to look like like meaty ass dragon scales like just straight off the back of an angry dragon or like a rattlesnake they're very kneeled right and they are amazing looking. It's so tough looking. Um, I absolutely, that's what caught me was the scales. I went, yup, I need that. Um, but outside of that, on the inside of the frame where nobody is ever going to see unless you take a flashlight and you look inside the knife, you will never see inside of there. Doesn't matter. Attention to detail. This is ADV Tactical. This is Andre de Villers. He wanted to do something special. So the inside of the frame is all acid rain plus it has a bunch of baby dragons flying up it um and that's incredible i mean that's attention to detail it's, it's something that you're never going to see but it's crazy cool and before i show you the actual knife put together i'm going to show you it taken apart i'm going to show you the dragon scales and i'm going to show you the baby dragons on the inside of the knife hold on <laughs> That right there, that right there is pure artistry. That's artistry. Um, so I'm really, really stoked about that. Um, but the knife itself, man, once it's all put together. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's it's the Pit Boss 3 with dragon scales. And he even, like right up in here, put another flying dragon just so I know what's on the inside. A constant reminder. Check it out. <laughs> I mean, he's a master. That's what he does. So last one, the Ronin. This is the new one. I didn't plan on grabbing a Ronin. I actually thought I was going to either do a tracker or a trail boss next and while I was looking at some trackers, or a Tonto, those were the three, Tonto, Trail Boss, and Tracker, I wanted something wild, a wild configuration in one of those. But he showed me a picture of what one would look like with like a, with like a acid rain, um, I'm trying to really think about it, acid rain with like a fat carbon, and then some kind of, I don't even know what it is, it's like a fat carbon red. Um, and it's going to be like a black fat carbon center with a, with a red, some kind of either acrylic or fat carbon, but it's a cross and it's inlaid inside. Of oh. And then the blade on the Ronin, the, the, I, I love this knife. Um, the blade on the Ronin is going to be really cool. It's all blacked out, but the swedge and the edge are polished and it just makes it look super tough i mean kind of like this like this looks super tough in a hundred years i would have never thought i'd fall in love so much with a straight edge knife i use this now more than any other knife it, it's this thing does it all it's just freaking awesome but let me show you right now the new ronin oh be ready <laughs> I know the second photo of showing you the rear has the thing cut off, but I couldn't turn the blade enough to get it in the format to fit 
without losing part of the blade. So that's the only reason. But you get to see the whole part of the blade in the first one. And then you get more of a picture of how it's constructed in the rear. Um, oh, I mean, they're on the way. They're on the way. He, he just um, finished today my Ronin, and that's going to be sent. Um, I am super stoked. These three knives are going... Well, they're not going to be. They are. They are incredible, but I cannot wait for them to be incredible in my hands. Um, I believe the two of them might have already gone out, or he knew I was getting the third one, so he held the two, and they're all going out, but he said, he said the box is going out this week. I don't know if that means all three or one to catch up to the two, but either way, they're coming. It is going to be one hell of an EDV... Uh, ADV, ADV Smackdown. I mean, these things are going just to be super duper dope. And I'm really, really excited. So um, that's it. Just wanted to fill you guys in on what's coming from ADV Tactical. And now, and these, just for the record, two of them are, one's like $750 knife, one's a $700 knife, and the other one is a, like a $600 knife, five, wait, somewhere in there. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's like a six hundred dollar knife. They're not cheap, but the materials, the milling, the craftsmanship, the um, the artistry, and then the labor. I mean, he, you can he can do a breakdown of all the materials he's using. He uses the most expensive materials you can get for his construction, and then to do things like hidden art on the inside and. Yeah just don't get better than that it doesn't it doesn't get better than that um so stick around wait for this package to come in so you guys can see it all um again i have um another d-bad blade coming it's going to be my zombie slayer um as a matter of fact if you're still with me i'll show you the zombie slayer in case you haven't seen it hold on gotta like that bite taken out of the top so um so that's going to be really cool. That's a KHHI offering. Um, just getting ready for some more stuff to come in. Can't wait to be able to actually grab some knives. Um, but until the left hand heals, I'm just going to go offhand and just keep manning up. Okay, so that is it for this one. I had no idea what I was about to say. That's why I said it like that. I am Donnie B. Holiday. Until next video.